Hello and welcome to this quick video on how to submit an entry to Lovebyte. So the first thing to do is to check the rules. So the full list of rules is on the lovebyte.party website and there are specific rules for specific platforms so make sure you check them out. Next thing to be aware of is that there is a maximum of two entries per person per competition. So under any particular category you can only enter two productions. This production must not have been previously released at a party and they must not be released until it is shown on the stream. So let's take a look at the checklist for submitting something to Lovebyte. So first thing, make something. Hopefully you've that done at this point. And now we're gonna talk about preparing the submission. So there's two aspects to this, screen capture of your entry, and second is creating the zip file with your entry. After that, we'll take a look at registering for the party system, which is the uh, website that allows us to upload and vote on our entries. And then we'll upload our production to the party system. So how to prepare your submission. Record a video capture of your entry as an MP4. So about 30 seconds will do, but it can be longer if it's required to show the evolution of an effect. But if it's just going to be the same effect repeated over and over, about 30 seconds is perfect. On all platforms, you can use OBS to record your production, and that is recommended. But on Windows, there's also the Xbox Game Bar, and you can use the Photos app to trim that video. And on Mac, you can press Command Shift 5 and you can trim with Quick Look or the Quick Time Player. And then we'll need to upload this video to the party system. But first, we'll take a look at what we need to put in our zip file. Your zip file should contain your production, your source code optionally if you want, and a file ID.diz or a readme.txt. And both of these essentially are just a text file that has the name of your production and your own name. So it's just a text file that describes what is in the file. And if you want to find out specifically more about the file ID.diz format, there is a link to the spec below in the description. And also include a screenshot. So the screenshot will also be uploaded to the party system separately, but it's also good to include in the zip so that in future, if people are updating websites or they want to um, get a preview of your production, that that screenshot is inside of the zip file. And the most important thing is to give your zip file a descriptive name. Your zip file should contain your nickname and the release name of your production. If you call your uh, release name lovebyte.zip and upload that, that's potentially going to cause some confusion when it's spread to scene.org after the party. So now that we have our capture and we have our zip file, we need to register for scene ID. If we've done this already, that's great, we can just log in with Scene ID, and Scene ID is an identity provider for scene-related websites. So the idea is that you create one Scene ID and you can log into all of the demo scene websites. You can log into DemoZoo, Puet, etc. with this one ID. And now you can also log in to party systems with it. So to log in, we'll go to woohoo.lovebyte.party, and you should see this login, um, sign in with Scene ID, Click that and get signed in with Scene ID. So if you have a Scene ID already, log in and you're done. Otherwise, you can hit Create New Account next to the Login button and then log in. Alternatively, if for some reason you can't create a Scene ID account, you can ask for a vote key on the Discord and then you can sign up and create an account directly on Woohoo and you'll see that further down the login register page. Um, but just keep in mind that there's no lost password functionality with this. So if you do lose your password, you will have to contact an organizer to get it to reset. Again, the preference is to use the scene ID login, but you can request a vote key. So once you've logged in successfully by whichever method you've chosen um, on woohoo.lovebyte.party, you will see the menu up at the top and you'll click upload entry and you will see this form. So upload entry, you select the competition that you want to upload. And again, you'll be doing this for every entry that you want to submit. Um, you put in your title, put in the author, put in a comment. And again, the comment will be shown for a few seconds before your production is played. And again, after it. So if you have a specific comment for the organizers, you can pop it in this. And the main thing is down here, the uploaded file and First thing to do is upload the zip of your production. And then secondly, after you've uploaded that again, you can upload a second file and upload your screen capture. And also upload your screenshot that you took earlier and put inside your zip file. Upload that screenshot here directly 
and this will be used on the voting page so that people will be able to identify your production if they're voting after the competition. So again, you can upload multiple files, upload your zip file first, then upload your screen capture, and then upload the screenshot. So it's important that the zip file and the screen capture are uploaded under the uploaded file option and that the screenshot is uploaded under the screenshot option. So what's next? So the most important thing is to enjoy the show. And then after the show, the files will be spread to scene.org. This is an archive of all the demo scene related media. Demo zoo entry will be created and you can feel free to add a screenshot to that. And then you can also add your entry to pwet.net as well. Thanks for taking part in Love Bite and we hope you have a great weekend.